All right, Tim. Actually, this is probably more me, this first part. <laughs> Please add updated to Unreal Engine 5.1 Fortnite um, to GPUs test. So, Updated Fortnite testing, please, yep. um, which uses software ray tracing Lumen instead of hardware ray tracing RTX. It'd be interesting to see the difference between AMD and NVIDIA in uh, this comparison. And then I guess the next sort of part of this question is, what do you think can Lumen uh, completely replace RTX in the future? So do you think Lumen can replace mm. RTX? A bit of an interesting question there, which I'll probably... So as for the... Fortnite Unreal Engine 5.1 stuff. Fortnite sucks for benchmarking. Uh, best way I can put it. And it sucks because the game is kind of good. And Fortnite haters are going to hate that. But I mean, it's good in the sense that Epic Games constantly updates Fortnite. So every few weeks, the game is radically changed. Uh, chances are the part of the map you were testing on is quite different. Uh Every few chapters, as we've seen with the Unreal Engine 5.1, they radically overhaul the game. So a game like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which hasn't seen an update or at least an update that affects performance in years, that's really good for, for GPU testing in that sense, which is why you'll see a lot of media outlets still using it. But Fortnite, the best way to test Fortnite is to use the replay feature, at least for GPU testing. And the problem is every single week they have an update at night and that breaks all of the replays that came before that. So your replay is good for testing for maybe one week. Sometimes it's, well, sometimes it's a matter of days. So that's not good, which basically means your data is valid for comparison for one week. So I use Fortnite in our big 50 game, 30 game, 40 game benchmarks uh, because that data is all fresh. And then I throw it away and we do it all over again with new drivers and different GPUs yeah. and whatnot. So it's, it's, Perfectly acceptable for that, but for ongoing testing, Fortnite is a nightmare, which is why nobody does it. Yeah, yeah. it's disappointing because it is so such a good showcase, but... Yeah, I think the second part of this question, there's a bit of a misconception about Unreal Engine 5 Lumen mm -hmm. and versus RTX. Obviously, there's been this kind of... What's the best way to put it? Like different brand names for sort of doing it... The, a similar style of technology. Sure. So, you know, RTX is just a brand name for NVIDIA's techniques for ray tracing on their hardware, and Lumen is effectively the brand name that Unreal Epic uses for Unreal Engine ray tracing. Yeah, DXR. And so DXR, obviously, that is the DirectX, you know, API. So you, you're kind of conflating all the APIs and software technologies and stuff. Lumen can still be hardware accelerated. So... It's not just a software solution. It has a software path for, you know, cards that don't support hardware acceleration. But if you do have a GPU that does support hardware acceleration, you're going to see much better performance. So, yeah, talking about, like, will Lumen replace RTX? Well, I don't think it's kind of... It's kind of hard to say that that's a, a comparison, really, because games running Lumen ray tracing in Unreal Engine 5 and 5.1 or whatever... Are still going to run on RTX. Hardware, yeah, I guess RTX I guess you could see cores. the yeah you can see the RTX branding sort of disappearing from games as we move forward. But yeah. that doesn't mean that actual feature's gone, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's right, and it doesn't mean that Nvidia won't have a performance advantage either, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it doesn't. You know, games like Spider Man, for example, don't use, as far as I'm aware, RTX branding. It's still you know because they were developed on console first, so mm -hmm. they're not they're not developing it's just RTX real time ray tracing hardware. Yeah. Whereas it, that game certainly still runs better for ray tracing on NVIDIA GPUs than AMD. So, yeah, I'm keen to see Lumen in more games, but I think fundamentally you're going to see pretty similar sort of ray tracing experience to all the other engines that have integrated your know, NVIDIA's specific RTX plugins that they've developed. So their techniques are ray tracing compared to other games like we've just been talking mm -hmm. about, you know, you know Spider-Man, those sorts of games that have been developed with consoles in mind first. I think I think it's going to be pretty similar, but I'm still very keen to sort of see you know this sort of next generation technologies from Unreal Engine Five come you know more to fruition. Personally, I'm more excited about Nanite. I reckon that looks super cool because it's kind of something we haven't seen. Nanite is very cool. Yeah, we haven't seen game engines really tackle something like you know super far super far LODs. Well, see, um, Nanites are actually very cool because well, I use them in Fortnite. Yeah, it's very cool, but um. Lumens I don't use because it makes it very hard to see indoors. And then 
the bloom effect you sort of get looking outside is hard to see players. So while there are some instances where it will highlight the player better, in most cases it makes it harder to see enemy players, which yeah. is no good for multiplayer games if you want to actually play the multiplayer game and kind of win the multiplayer game. Yeah, so. but imagine Nanite is giving you the ability to scale the, the lods much further so you can see people's builds or... Yes, you definitely can, but further. the other thing as well, just pop-in detail and stuff as well, yeah. like not complete pop-ins, but even just detail pop-ins, like that, not having yeah. that while you're flying around is... It's a weird feeling being able to go yeah. anywhere and not have well, that. I remember you talking about Assassin's Creed just before, and that's one of the games that's a notoriously bad pop-in, and that's why I'm kind of really keen on... Mm -hmm. on those sort of things. I sort of, maybe lighting, you know, lighting has become really good with rasterization and obviously ray tracing has taken that to the next level. That's so true. But, you know, in games like Assassin's Creed and Cyberpunk, you, you play without ray tracing. I mean, Assassin's Creed doesn't even have ray tracing, but mm -hmm. you play those games without ray tracing, like, it looks pretty good. You turn mm -hmm. on to ray tracing, like some, some games like Cyberpunk, you're like, whoa, that looks really good. Mm -hmm. But then you play Assassin's Creed and you see the pop in and stuff. And you're like, mm, that's pretty ugly pop in. And if there's, you know, that's why I'm that, really yeah. excited about Nanite is the ability to cut down on that, increase the level of detail. And when you combine that with ray tracing, I think we're going to see some really mm. big steps in overall visual quality. It's the pairing of those two things that's going to take. You can't just have one or the other. I think. Well, I think to if you said to me, what would you rather change with games? Would you rather eliminate pop in, or would you rather have more realistic reflections? I'd choose to eliminate popping. That's first. what I would choose for sure. I'm not saying that we shouldn't. I'm not trying to downplay the importance of ray tracing, mm. but that's why I'm personally more excited about that particular feature because that is what I would also prioritize as being. It's much more immersive and and a much more enjoyable and realistic gaming experience mm. when you don't have things just popping in. Some games yeah. do it at very close render distances, yeah. and it's it's very mm. jarring. See, I think we've seen from some of the latest games that, you know, they've sort of added ray tracing to older titles like Portal or Quake 2, or obviously most recently The Witcher is another example. And even some other games like, I, I've just been, well, not recently, but I played Dying Light 2, which has ray tracing. The, the lighting effects look really good, but I wouldn't say it looks photo real or approaching photo real because some of the asset quality isn't there. And I mm. think, yeah, this Unreal Engine 5, you know, the combination of the factors is really going to take games... Yeah, you sort of need everything coming together. You can't just push lighting to crazy degrees and not bring everything else with it. And that's why, yeah, Unreal Engine 5 seems super interesting to me. Hopefully we see more games that sort of look like Flight Simulator, sort of one of the... Or Minecraft. <laughs> Does Minecraft have really good... I was just <laughs> laughing because you were saying... <laughs> There's a ray tracing version. <laughs> well, all right.